Before starting the video, I would like to tell you something about ibpsguide.com. In their website, they daily provide you with free questions which will help you boost your preparation of either banking examination or SSC examination. Also, you can check out their test series which has very high standard questions and also all the questions are accompanied by detailed solutions. Okay, so you don't have to wonder here and there for the solutions and also towards the end of the test, they provide you with analysis that how well you have performed which are the areas which you must work on also the tests are available in both the language that is hindi and english so you can switch between both the languages and it is accessible either on mobile application or desktop whichever suits you okay for more information about ibps guide quality mocks you can visit their e-store that is e-store.ibpsguide.com now let's move on to our video hello everyone welcome to ibps guide in this particular video we'll be solving some data inequality problem which will be very important for your rrb po pre 2018 exam as well as assistant exam okay so without any further ado let's move on to our problem so this is the direction of the question in the following question two equations one and two are given we have to solve both the equation and give answer as x greater than y x greater than equal to y x less than y x less than equal to y or x equal to y or the relation cannot be established so basically they have given us two equation in which the first equation is having x as the variable and the second equation is having y as the variable so first we have to find the value of x and y and then compare and accordingly choose our option okay so if you have this 2x square plus 25x plus 57 is equal to 0 okay so while solving quadratic equation the first thing that you have to see is that this coefficient of x okay coefficient of x must be negative okay but this is positive so i have to make this negative so i will make it like this 2x square minus of minus 25 x plus 57 is equal to what zero okay so whenever there is plus sign you have to make it minus sign like this okay now this is plus okay this is plus and here also i am getting nothing but plus okay so this factor that is 25 is obtained by adding two factors of this 2 and 57 okay so 2 and 57 factor will be what 19 3 times is what 57 so we have these three numbers now out of these three numbers we have to make two factors okay two factors the sum of which will be equal to what minus 25 okay so what i will do i will write it like this this is 96 and 3 2 times is what 6 so 90, uh, 19 plus 6 is what 25 and i can write it like this minus 19 plus minus 6 will give us what minus 25 okay so directly i can say that my x will be what directly x will be equal to what minus 19 and minus 6 but since we are having the coefficient of x square as 2 so i have to divide this by 2 so this is divided by 2 divided by 2 so my answer will be what minus 19 by 2 and comma minus 3 so these are the value of x okay now looking at this equation again i have to make this as minus okay because this is plus so 3y square minus of minus 21 y plus 36 equal to 0 okay now the two numbers are 33 and 36 so 3 and 36 can be written as 2 into 3 multiplied by 2 into 3 right now i out of this numbers i have to make two factors okay the sum of which will be equal to what minus 21 okay so this has to be also minus and this has to be also minus now i have to find two factors the sum of which will be equal to minus 21 okay now mujhe do factor nikalne to kaise nikal sakte to dekho 3 2 times is 6 6 2 times is 12 okay so 12 and 3 3 times is what 9 so 9 9 plus 12 is what minus 21 okay so this is correct so my y value will be what minus 12 and minus 9 but here the coefficient of y square is what 3 so i have to divide it by 3 so this is divided by 3 this will be equal to minus 4 and this is minus 3 so this is the value of y this is the value of x x is what minus 19 by 2 or i can write it like this minus 9.5 right and this will be minus 3 so if i compare for example this minus 3 is equal to this minus 3 okay now this minus 4 is what less than minus 4 right minus 4 is less now compared to this minus 3 and again if i compare these two okay this is greater than this this is greater than this okay so i can say directly that cannot be determined because in one of the cases i am getting x is equal to y in another case i am getting what y is less than x and in one case i am getting y is greater than x okay so we cannot conclude okay so directly my answer will be cannot be determined now let's move on to our question number two now in question number 2 they have given this is root 196 root 196 is basically was 14x so 14x plus this will be equal to what we know that 80 square is equal to what 6400 and 85 square is equal to what it 25 and 8 9 times is 72 okay so our number that is 7056 is lying between these two numbers so the square square root of this will lie between 80 to 85 okay 
but I know that this 7056 is closer to this 7225. Okay, so my answer will be closer to 85. Now, at looking at this last digit, this is 6. Okay, now I know that 4 multiplied by 4 gives us 16, and the last digit of this is 6. So I can directly say that this is what 84. Okay, so this is 84. So 14x plus 84 equal to 0. Okay, this equation will be reduced to this one. So x will be equal to what 84 minus 84 divided by 14. Okay, so 7 2 times 7 what uh, 12 times right 2 6 times so x will be equal to minus 6 again this equation this is 1 2 9 6 1 2 9 6 is directly what 36 is square okay now 36 is square so if this is root to the power 4 I can write this as 6 square plus square so this will become 6 to the power 4 okay so 6 to the power 4 to the power 1 by 4 y plus I have to find the cube root of this one okay so while finding the cube root of any number this is for example 13824 right so first thing you have to notice this last digit this is 4 so my answer of the cube root will be what 4 because I know that 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 gives us a number whose last digit is was also 4 okay because 4 4 is 16 16 4 times is what 64 so 4 will come okay so the first unit uh, unit digit is 4 now I have to look for this second number now while finding cube root you have to just neglect the last three digit okay so this is neglected I am left with only 13 okay now if I try to look at the cube root of numbers 1 cube is equal to what 1 2 cube is equal to what 8 3 cube is equal to what 27 now this 13 is lying between these two numbers okay obviously it, can, it cannot be 3 cube because 3 cube is larger than this 13 so I have, I have to take this 2 okay so answer of this will be what 24 so this is 24 is equal to what 0 so this 4 and 4 will cancel out 6y is equal to minus 24 or I can say y will be equal to what minus 4 so y is minus 4 x is minus 6 so y is greater than x okay so in this case answer will be y greater than x okay now in the third question this is x square minus 8x already we have got minus x okay because the coefficient of x is minus and this is 48 and 48 is also having minus sign so I have to get a two number two number whose difference whose difference will be equal to what 8 okay because minus q you have to neglect you have to take only this part okay so this is 8 so we have to find two factors whose difference is equal to 8 so if I factorize this 48 48 will be 2 into 24 24 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 right 3 to the 6 6 to the 12 12 to the 24 48 okay now find two factors such that the difference between those two number will be equal to what 8 so that will be what 12 and 4 because this is 3 to times 6 6 6 to times 12 12 and minus 4 so directly I can see that 12 and 4 okay but I have to subtract right so this will be equal to what 12 minus 4 so answer of x will be plus 12 and minus 4 okay now look at this y square so here I have to make this negative so y square minus of minus 10 y plus 24 okay equal to 0 so factorize this so this will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 right so 3 2 times is 6 and 2 2 times is 4 so 4 plus 6 is what 10 so I have to add minus 6 and minus 4 so y will be equal to minus 6 and minus 4 now compare these two if I compare this x is what this is minus 4 and this is also minus 4 so x is equal to y in one case this is plus 12 plus 12 is greater than this plus 12 is also greater than this okay so I can see that x will be equal to what greater than y for this particular question now let's move forward now this one this is the linear equation this is 6x minus 5y so we will use elimination method okay elimination method tells us that we have to eliminate one of the variable and then find the other variable so this is 6x so if I multiply this whole equation by 3 this will become 6x minus 9y is equal to minus 3 now take the difference okay difference of these two equations so if I take the difference for example this 6x and 6x will cancel out and I will have plus 4y okay because this is minus 5 I have doing like this this is equal to minus 15 you have a 6x hai, minus 9y equal to minus 3 now whenever we are taking the difference the sign will change so this is plus this will become minus plus and this will be plus right so this will cancel out this will be 4y is equal to what minus 12 so y will be equal to what minus 3 now let's substitute the value of y here so this will be minus 3 and minus 3 so this will be plus 9 plus 9 will go this side so this will become minus 9 so this will become minus 10 2 divided by minus 10 so minus 10 divided by 2 will be equal to what minus 5 so x is minus 5 y is minus 3 so obviously y is greater than x okay now this one this is 5 x square so first I will make this negative so minus of minus 29 and this will become minus of minus 23 right now 42 and 5 so 5 into 42 I can write 2 into 3 multiplied by 7 
and here I can write this is 4 2 into 2 and this 33 can be written as 3 into 11 okay so I have to make two factors okay this is plus sign this is also plus sign so I have to add two numbers such that the addition of these two numbers will be equal to what minus 23 and here also I have to find two numbers the addition of which will be equal to minus 29 okay so let's find out that number so here if you look at these two numbers this is 5 3 times is 15 and 7 2 times is 14 so 15 and 14 okay but we need minus so this will be minus 15 and minus 14 so x value will be equal to what so x will be equal to minus 15 minus 14 but since x square is having 5 as its coefficient so i have to divide it by 5 so this is also 5 so 5 3 times so minus 3 minus 4.5 right or I can write it like this uh, minus 2.8 okay this is equal to this now for y we have to find two factors so that the sum of this will be equal to minus 23 so first so if you look at this one this is 3 2 times is 6 6 2 times is 12 so minus 12 and minus 11 so this will be equal to what minus 23 so y will be equal to minus 12 minus 11 but the coefficient of y square is what 4 so I divide it by 4 okay so this will be equal to minus 3 and this will be what uh, 4 2 times okay 4 2 times is what 8 8 3 times so 7 times so 2.7 something okay now if i compare these two this is your x value okay this is first x and this is second x okay now this x is equal to this much okay here this y is greater than this but here we are getting x is greater than y so directly i can see that this is cannot be determined okay so with this i will conclude today's session these are the five questions which i explained i think i have explained you well and if you have doubt regarding any of the question you can comment down below and i will try to rectify your doubt as soon as possible okay so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to ibps guide and also for the quality marks you can visit the description below thank you so much